I'm Mikey Windsor. I'm here in the studio, and what am I working on today? Frog and a flower. <laughs> so when I wanted to paint a frog, the motivation behind that came from a lot of memories of going and playing in the creek. And uh, I remember if I walked up to the edge of the creek too quickly, I'd hear, you know, I'd hear the splash of the frog, and I would, you know, walk to a different place in the creek a little bit slower to kind of like sneak up on a frog and, you know, get a glimpse of it before I just saw a splash. And so I thought this is a really great symbol for like an undisturbed space or like a, pi a, a peaceful, quiet, calm place, you know, like the frog hasn't even gotten disturbed, the water isn't disturbed, there's no ripple on the surface, like everything is at peace and my human existence isn't interfering with nature. And I really wanted to capture that. Can you hold on a second? Hold on, I'll be right back. Uh, hey, Chicago, what are you doing? This is my job. Yeah, you can't be painting, dude. I got paint. Oh, hey, Mikey, what's up? Oh, yeah? Yeah. Um, oh, yeah? I, mean, I got a lot of work already. I want to, you know, oh. finish it myself. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I, mean, I just want to help. Okay. Yeah, you know. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. That's the last it. That's it. Okay, I'm done. Hey, Chicago. He's always trying to help out. And so I thought I'll start with uh, a leaf, and I threw down a leaf. I threw a frog on there, <laughs> and I threw some water. Uh, water being a unit of life, but also because I can manipulate it to kind of look like eggs and you know frogs lay a lot of eggs and the tadpoles, it's a, kind of an interesting life cycle. When I was painting all the little dots on the frog for the texture of the skin, it kind of reminded me of painting the stars in the sky. You know, like, there, there's some kind of a, a tractor beam kind of thing going on when you look into the sky and the, the stars are so far, but yet they're so, you know, uniquely pointed. You know, that's a really attractive thing, you know, like, just a space with a lot of little dots of different size and shape and color. And so I thought, what if I really focus on that attraction, you know, and I get in there? What's, what's the epitome of attraction? The honey bees and their attraction to flowers and their dependence on finding nectar not only for their own survival, but also for our survival. And then I kind of just let that bee just kind of hover there and kind of like get pulled in by the tractor beam of the smells and the colors of the flower. That loss of time and that absence of, of motivation, but that pull that just keeps going and it keeps moving. Put a little bit of the dots in the background to kind of tie into the stars and uh, the little dots on the, the yellow part of the flower there where he's gonna land the landing pad the contrast between the edges of it, you know, really make like a bass, like a, it's almost like a, a head of a drum, and that as the bee lands on top, it just boom, creates this, <laughs> you know, like this vibration of life, and I uh, really wanted to capture that. It's a fun time because I feel like I'm on the edge of putting all these elements into one bigger painting, you know, like working towards something more monumental. 